That was close there, Chevy. <laughs> oh man, welcome to Chicago. Good morning, world. Check out the Chicago skyline here, folks. All's good right now. Still got to get off and uh, deal with some city traffic, but hey, we made it. I know you think you're slick, but I'm an eight ton piece of steel. Do you really want to take that chance? Oh no! 11 foot clearance! Ah! Google, you're gonna be uh, rerouting here. So we can't do that. That was close. Not too bad this early in the morning, actually. It's about 10 a.m., 10.15. And, you know, I'm just... I was here a year ago. I was here in Chicago one year ago, last summer. So. Um, I watched my video from a year ago last night to kind of see because I was like, man, I didn't do GPS back then. And where I parked one year ago is this next block up here on the right. It looks like it's pretty full. Yeah. I parked right here. But... So I found parking, just a little farther up, but I'm in the shade. I'm gonna get no solar. So, I think, oh, he's stealing it, darn it. I'll just go in front of him. I was like, that Chevy just stole my spot. I'm gonna go right here. No stopping 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. So there you go. Well guys, I made it. Parking enforcement's over there. Making sure I paid for my three hours. It's $12 for three hours to park here, but look behind me. What a view. Pretty much right downtown Chicago. Um, I got three hours to play, so let's make the most of it. I should also mention today here in the Windy City, the high is 72 degrees. So all of a sudden I feel like, man, I'm actually doing pretty good. I'm back to normal. I can uh, uh, crack some windows and I don't have to worry about air conditioning or anything. And ironically, although I'd never do it, look what's right next to my RV. This is interesting. 50 amp and 20 amp, <laughs> just kind of funny. So the parking there I found, which is okay for RVs, because it doesn't have like slots. You can be as long as you want, but you're limited to three hour max, and it's $12 for three hours. So to figure something else out here in three hours. I mean, it's not an ugly city. Look, they're playing volleyball right here in a little park. Tennis next door. <laughs> Interesting, very funky. So before I get too far in the city here, uh, we're really close to the uh, Buckingham Fountain. So Jax and I are gonna stroll over there and we're gonna check it out. Yeah, yeah. Say what, Jax? You're not impressed with Chicago, but, but there's water. Oh man. Love and marriage, love and marriage. <laughs> Jax, we made it. We made it to the fountain. What do you think? <laughs> it's beautiful. And it's working this year when I arrive. How awesome is that? Jax likes kitty baths in the fountain. He's like, you got the wrong cat, dude. Now, uh, with everything I've seen and all my travels around the country, it makes it a little more difficult for me to be surprised or just kind of in awe or kind of a little spooked but chicago you did it you got me uh you ever seen ghost ship 
Remember that scene in Ghost Ship where all the passengers are up on the deck and that wire splits and pretty much splices everybody open from the abdomen? Yeah, that's pretty much what this reminds me of, except these torsos are like 10 feet tall and all over the place. I mean, they have dedicated a whole park, some hundred of these severed leg torsos. Even though it's not really that warm, it sure feels warm with the sun. Look at this, they got these huge fountains with faces on them. That's not creepy or anything. There's another one. Okay. At least the kids are all having fun in the water here. Yeah, they certainly have some weird art in Chicago. All right, well, the fountain was fun. But look through the trees. Something is shining at us. Hmm. Well, everybody, the bean is pretty busy today. Or cloud gate. The artist wants us to call it, but you know what? Yeah, pretty busy here. There we go. The bean, everybody. Say hi. <laughs> there you go. The bean. All right, guys, I'm going to walk out here to the corner, and I want you to look behind me at this sign on the pole. The official begin of historic Route 66 here in Illinois, or for me, the end. But just like the Santa Monica Pier said that was the start, and I was going backwards, now we get the real start. But it's my end. I don't know. It's kind of picturesque to finally see it. All right, if I'm lucky, I may have gotten a good tip. Let's see what this sign says. There we go. Well, at least Illinois and Chicago here were nice enough to put an end of Route 66 sign for those of us who are doing everything backwards. You know, those of us who just can't follow directions and have to go uh, east instead of west. Yeah. Um, I only have 30 minutes left on my three hour pass and, uh, and so that's a, I mean, I'd love to go explore more, but they just don't offer the ability to park your RV and go do everything in one day. So. I'm gonna head back to the RV and check on Jax and we'll decide what we're gonna do. I feel like I should at least get a Chicago hot dog before I go though, right? I mean, yes, I would probably rather like to try Chicago pizza, but I can't find any in this particular park. So we're gonna go with the Chicago dog. Plain, oh yeah. It's a hot dog. <laughs> I almost feel like no Chicago experience will be complete without at least coming out to the water because they've got a pretty massive body of water out here. It may look like an ocean, but here's Lake Michigan right here in Chicago. Well, let's see, the last time I saw a body of water this large was Los Angeles when I began this. There's nothing, yeah, the Pacific Ocean was the last time I saw any water this, this large, and this is not even an ocean. This is just Lake Michigan. They got lots of sailboats out here all anchored up. They got a jetty out there to kind of help with some of the wind. By the way, it is it has been really, really windy today. The Windy City has definitely lived up to its name here in Chicago for me. But as it turns out, I now have 10 minutes to move my RV. And I can't renew it. I can't uh, put my card in the same machine on that street. They're come down and they were writing down our license plates and stuff. So you can't skirt the system and buy another three three hour pass for $12 even if you wanted to. So I gotta, I gotta scoot up. As a matter of fact, I have to run back to the RV. There's no time to reflect on any of Chicago right now, but I'll get back to you in a little bit. All right, folks, I made it. Oh my goodness, you could not make this up. 16 miles, I had 16 miles. Thank you, son. Uh, to make it here to this Walmart, it took me an hour and 27 minutes to drive 16 miles. I'm gonna hand it to you, Chicago, Illinois. You have the dumbest drivers, the worst drivers, that, that's two different categories, dumb and worst. Everybody just waiting till the last minute, cutting you off, trying to cut in at the last minute, even though we've already all merged over. It literally took me over 45 minutes to get half a mile. It was ridiculous. Chicago, well done. Man, I hate visiting the big city of, any big cities, but Chicago by far, worse than Los Angeles, New York City. I have taken this motor home in some really unfriendly places, and I am, I couldn't say it enough. Chicago, you guys are horrible. 
absolutely horrible. Uh, once I got on one of the big highways and was heading over here, it was okay. But gas here in Indiana, like from Illinois to Indiana, the first gas price I saw was two seventy nine. dollars That's a dollar more than I was paying a state over. I think the lowest might be two sixty nine dollars here. I'm in Hammond, Indiana, the very first city, pretty much. Um, but anyway, I got to regroup and I mean, I have, let me go inside. Um, before I forget though, a couple the little, quick little housekeeping stuff uh, based on kind of most frequently asked questions and stuff like that. In the comments of my videos, oftentimes I get people asking me some very generic questions like, how long is your RV? What year is your RV? Um, what camera are you using? What editing software? Like, like, like questions that uh, what they don't realize is I put all of that information in the video description of every single video. So if you scroll underneath this video and click show more on the description, go underneath all the GPS coordinates and everything, I have listed the most popular and most frequently asked questions on my channel. Um, in case I'm not able to get to your answer or maybe if you know the answer to somebody who asked those questions or just give them a heads up for future reference, I actually put all that information in the video for you. Also, if you go to my YouTube homepage, which I will put a link on the screen right now, what it looks like. If you go to the, my main page and then scroll down, you'll see I have now added a few of my uh, favorite playlists. One of my favorite ones that a lot of people use is my chronological. People ask me why I don't put dates on my videos. Well, that's because I actually built a playlist where you can hit play and then they play in the exact order of when they were uploaded from December 6th, 2013 till today, as well as a lot of other um, helpful playlists, which I'm going to be adding more. Uh, but right now you will see that I have added the new one, Route 66 in 66 Days, where you can track it from Los Angeles all the way to Chicago now, um, as well as feel free to check out some of the other playlists as I continue to um, add them uh, throughout the existence of the channel. And I really have a lot of planning to do because this leg of the journey, the Route 66 stuff, is now over. And man, what an epic, hey, 66 days. Route 66 in 66 days officially. So that is pretty neat. Uh, I'm really going to miss it. And that's not to say I won't be back later on in life. I'm sure I'll hit up different parts of it. And people have told me all the stuff that I missed or forgot or didn't know about. So I've, got, I've already got so many new locations pinned for next time I'm on those routes. Uh, but it's time for a new journey. And most importantly, it's time to try to stay cool and pretty much stay in the 70 degree range here. Um, at least into August is is the idea. So I want to thank you all so much for following me on Route 66. It's been a dream of mine for a very, very long time, and I had so much fun. It was the best 66 days of my life so far. And I hope that I was able to share it with you in a way that showcases the history of Route 66, because that's what I really wanted to do. I didn't just want to drive it and park at Walmarts. I wanted to experience it, so... Again, a big thank you to everyone for following me. I have gained so many more subscribers and hit so many more milestones. And it's really fun interacting with you guys, even though I don't get to check comments as often anymore. Maybe that'll change. I don't know. I'm just... But, but thank you so much, guys. Uh, Jackson and I will see you in a couple days. And we will continue on the next journey. Bye, guys.
Hey guys, this is Jax, my kitty cat. I'm his servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel here on RVing. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe, check out all our other videos, and keep following us on the road. Thanks, guys.